hard passing. You're gonna have this one here. Start off from one thing about a guard, any any type of guard that you're gonna do, you have to or if you're on top, you need to initiate before you get a hold with you. What I mean they get a hold with you, if it's really whatever guard that you have in mind to do it, you you have to make sure that you start start before you start it to get a hold, control it. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if it does spider guard, it's gonna stop you to do the things you wanna do. If it does Dela it's gonna stop to you you to do the things you wanna do. You wanna initiate. Right now we're not we're not playing there how you're gonna escape for whatever guard <coughs> is doing. We're gonna start up from this. His land his back on the ground, and I have my arms free to start attacking him. Got it? And again, if he's not some guards can be relayed for the pass that you do, and you can even play the counter of the guard that you do to pass his guard. But if he's not, it's better uh, uh, in, uh, start off doing what you have to do before you start to get a hold of you. Got it? Okay. One side, I'm going to grab the pants. I want my, the easiest grip is going to be down to the pants here. Uh, my, my knuckles push against his cap here. And, uh, this side here, I'm gonna drop, change levels, and I wanna hit my shoulder right behind his knee. This here. Once I have this here, I wanna get the collar grip, uh, the cross grip collar. Okay, I'm gonna reach out for the collar and bring my elbow back. You need to be precise with this, uh, this grip. You cannot, if you, if you start, uh, raise your leg this, this side here. Yeah, you cannot, you don't wanna spend time like this. It's gonna be too heavy. What you have right now is once you change level, you wanna hit your, your chest right behind his uh, his leg and get the shoulder right on top of excuse me, the knee on top of your shoulder and reach out for the grip part away. You want this. As soon as you get this, last you're gonna have to chase the, the grip there. You know, got this one here, you have this here. Now, now I'm gonna start stacking him. I'm gonna drive my forward, I'm gonna come this way here. One thing, you cannot start stacking him pushing this one too. Because if you get out, if I push him, just get a hold of the sleep, break a grip, boom, you're gonna get caught in trying to but then this on this on him pushing, what is gonna force him to raise his hip is gonna be this here, leaning my weight on top of him. But look this grip. It's not like this. Nothing here. Once he takes his seats out of the ground, I'm gonna reach out grip here. I'm looking to for the belt or for the bottom of his at uh, top. I wanna get this one. This is gonna help to start stacking him. Okay, once I start stacking him, I wanna drive my knee right behind his lower back. This one here. This side, if his arms is, if you front of my, my leg, I'm gonna get my shin cross to his biceps here. That's a good one. Just is there. If I don't feel like I, I, I'm not seeing his arm on, on, on my left here, but if he's, if you can see the arm, get a hold uh, nearby my arm, my leg, I'm gonna get my shin cross. This one here. Now, once I have this, just gonna open my chest. And pass as well. You can see now you can finish the pass with the same sequence, the cycle through the same sequence, uh, sequence we worked last week. Chest with chest, arm cross, my left arm holding his left arm, right hand block the hip. Again, so from this you push this one here, don't go like this. Change level and get this. Boom. And boom. Don't leave your, your elbow hang here. It's this here. You, you grab the call and drive your elbow back. Got it? I'm gonna start stack him straight forward. I, I'm not in a, in, in a rush to pass this guard. You start going like this. Pass this way, look this way. Go back, yes. Give too much space for him. More than that, some people is gonna, is gonna hold on their weight longer. They're more flexible, they're gonna stack, they're gonna feel comfortable there, but if they, they there with the, the controls that I have. My hand uh, grab the, the belt or the bottom of the, the gi. Cross grip in the collar. Shin crosses back. He doesn't have enough to do with me. Anything that he's going to do, that's going to come from my mistake. I'll leave my arm aside, he's trying to me. But if you maintain the pressure that you have, doesn't matter how flex flex flexible he is, you can spend all day there. I guarantee you can spend all day there better than him. Cool? But you can you can see some guys that once you get stack on a fuse, you wanna shrimp back, put your sh your, your your back on the ground. But if you get it on this of him, use your weight against his leg, start elevate his hip. Again, there's not much things you can do from there. Yeah. 
the, probably one, one of the strongest paths that I know. Yes. Got it? Okay. But now we have this. We go for the same, the same position. A lot of times, one of the, the, the reasons that I was emphasizing the emphasizes, right? Yes. On the, the grip is to avoid this here. A lot of times you get this, once you start looking for the, the cross grip, you get a hold of your elbow and start pushing this way. You know, you see a lot of different ways to get this control. You know, I call here the mat lock position. Mm -hmm. It sits like this and uh, it's leverage. Once you get there and lock his elbow, start sitting, it's really hard to stop him. Very hard. You know, you need to avoid. The best way to describe this, it's avoid. You, what I mean avoid? Because I'm in a good spot to start passing his guard. He's not like it. Once you get that point, if you play counter, no, it, it's not going to work. Because my elbow stay engaged to my, is this here. That's why. Bring, how much you mentioned about this, huh? Sure. Let the guy get a hold. If you start exposing your arm forward too, too, too much, or if the, the, the elbow goes uh, above the line, the, the shoulder, you, you lose a lot of yeah, it's strains in your arms, right? Sure. And, uh, you cannot let the guy uh, get over here. You know, just the same thing in the bottom position. Last week, if you remember side control, you know, try to isolate the arms to start attacking, to start choking him, right? To get a, bit, a better uh, uh, side control. Now position the same thing. If you, got, if you start exposing his arms over here, it's ex uh, on this, you can do the high mount. Now you can strike. Now you can unbar him. It's not a good. You want to bring it back. That's why don't don't get lazy with this arm. That's another reason for not go like this. Leg against uh, leg against arm. It's your weight. I want this. Get my weight there. We, we we're gonna work in couple options that I you fight for one, you pass to the side and back and forth this. But what I want to avoid me to use a lot of energy to try uh, chase the leg here is to get my weight down here. And look, look what I'm doing. You pin this leg down. If I pin this leg down, force this leg go this way. It is easy for me to go on his shoulder. Do you understand? Sure. I start like this here. Here, then I'll pin this leg. His, even his knees up. Now I have to chase this leg. But if I pin this leg down, his knees gonna come up, up this way. It's easy for me to hit the, my, my shoulder right behind his knee. That's why I'm pushing this leg down. Instead, that start going like this. Sure. Do you understand? Sure. You get this, you get this knee up, and you can, boom, you get here. Got it? Okay. Sure. What is gonna happen now? Once you get this, he's gonna try uh, peel the elbow. If he cannot, he's gonna try to create space. Like, a, like, yeah, now get the knee right under my ass. To recover his guard from this. Go. We're gonna get this one here. Once you take the leg out, don't, don't stop here. Open your chest. See my leg now goes, I'm not here. Boom. So allowed him to frame his knee in my chest and push me away. Now once you get this, I drive this knee over this side to make sure his leg still point, his knee stay point this way here. And I can drop you. It's kind of a very variation of a stack pass with a leg, leg drag position. But again, you start from this, you push this leg, this knee is gonna come out, it's easy for you to reach out here. Bah. Bah. Try try get a hold of my elbow, try push my elbow away. Once it goes like this, see, it's even hard for him to get to where he wants because my elbow's not there. Mm -hmm. If you get inside the elbow, here, you're not gonna stop him. Once you lock his elbow, you, you boom, he's gonna take you. You're gonna work the options if this happens, but right now, prevention. If he goes there, you already bring your elbow down here. If you try to swing the leg, I switch my stance. My, knee, my weight was this side, uh-uh. Weight goes this way. Put this leg on top, boom. I drive my arm under, just to, to bait him, see if he goes all force. You understand? If I get my arm on top, you're, gonna, you, you're not giving any option for him to go all force position. But if I have this, his arm under, he can try to go that way. Boom, oh, I'm here to take his back. If you, take, if you keep his back on the ground, I'll take side control. Any questions?